Happy 2018, everybody. As you can see, this is a modified setting. Why? Because I am PCSing to Arizona from Hawaii. So I've been having some bittersweet moments while I'm packing up everything. And I just wanted to stop by and give you guys the first vlog for 2018. And as promised, it's a topic given by the Holiday Gift Box Giveaway winner. And the question is, can someone be too ambitious? Let's talk. Hello everyone, my name is Della Mag, leadership development consultant and founder of Max Perspective. My passion is in helping women of color reach their professional potential and be successful leaders. If you're not a part of our community already, go ahead and subscribe now <laughs> and join the community full of wonderful leading ladies who are impactful within our organization. So let's get into the topic, which is can someone be too ambitious? I don't believe that one can be too ambitious. However, I do think we should keep in mind two things in regards to ambition. And that's number one, keeping a proper balance. And number two, knowing the difference between indecisiveness and ambition. So a healthy approach to anything is what we aim, we should be aiming to obtain. And when one is working towards a specific goal, you want to have that sweet spot where you're getting the proper work rest cycle. And that itself makes, you know, makes you have a healthier lifestyle. Because if you don't, you have that reverse effect. Um, if you're not looking at it from a holistic point of view, you have that reverse effect and you, you don't even know it. Other things in your life begin falling apart because you're focusing on something so long, you're disregarding other things that need your attention as well. Let me be more specific. Now, many of you have heard before that I obtained my master's degree while working full time as a platoon leader in the Army. And a platoon leader is someone who plans training. They resource it. They actually execute training and, you know, equip their soldiers with um, things needed for their area of expertise. So my soldiers took up a lot of my time because why they their well-beings were, were in my hands, directly in my hands. So I wanted to make sure I was doing my due diligence to them as well as doing what I needed to develop self. In doing so, I obtained a drinking problem. Um, that's something I think I've never told anybody. But I somehow got, developed a drinking habit that was out of control. Um, not that I leveraged my education or I leveraged the soldiers or endangered them in any way. I just uh, masked the stress. With drinking. Um, my schedule looked something like this. I was um, most of the time going to bed at 11, 12 o'clock at night, uh, probably doing homework and so forth. I'm a night owl, but at the end of the day, I do need sleep. So I was going to bed at 11 and 12 o'clock at night. I was waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning to ensure that I did homework. Um, by 5.30 a.m., I was at my morning meetings with my boss. Um, I was doing work all day long. I'd probably get home about 6 o'clock. I'll do PT. I'll work out twice a day. And, you know, homework, deadlines, and all that stuff was due. Um, I still had my obligations to the Army. And I had my obligations. I held myself accountable for obtaining my degree. In the meantime, when it was time for me to type papers or do homework or come home for a long day's work or anything, I would drink. I would drink a lot. Um, so that balance became very, very shaky. Um, it was to a point where like on Sunday mornings, in order for me to write anything or do any type of homework, I would have to get a drink. I would have to make sure that I was good live and I was ready to go. Music playing, uh, whatever kind of music it was, I was lit so I could do my homework. Um, and that was horrible. I know I, I, I paid attention to it and I figured one day I just needed to cut that habit. I kicked it, um, went cold turkey for a month, and developed new habits. I formed new outlets to relieve stress. Um, I planned my time. I made realistic goals so that I could obtain all the things that I needed to do in a healthier way. Um, I planned my day to a T, utilizing realistic goals so that I was able to get sleep, work out, do homework, and do every, everything else that I wanted to do. And that took time. 
That took time and it was very, very important. Although I am an ambitious person at heart, I am goal oriented. I am a opportunist. I am optimistic. I too fell short and I too had to understand that in order for me to succeed in the area where I wanted to, in order for me to obtain my master's degree, I had to make sure that me first was doing what I needed to do um, to be the best that I could be for my soldiers, for my friends and family and so forth. And drinking just had to go, you know, as I focused in on one thing, I let myself go down, you know. So having that proper balance is very, 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 very important. As for number two, indecisiveness and ambition can sometimes be interchangeable. Um, one can set a goal and work very hard going towards it, boom, boom, bam. And then one day that idea of fairy just comes on in and you have something else that you want to conquer. So you drop that goal and then you start working on something else. You know, that, rep that repetition. One thing come in your head, you're all gung-ho about it. Your ambition just drives you wild. You're like, ooh, I want to do that. And next thing you know, you drop it and you do something else. You know, the inconsistency. You're indecisive about what you really want to do. Um, and I, too, experienced this one as well. <laughs> I was that person. Um, and a wise man once told me that I had to overcommit to something. Like, overcommit to something. Stick with something. And in doing that, I found my passion. Um, I found my passion in my struggles and in the things that I were facing. And I wanted to help other women of color overcome adversities in the workplace and be successful leaders. That's what I wanted to do. If you have a handle on those two things, I believe it's okay to dream big. It's okay to be ambitious. And it's okay to reach your goals. In 2018, I decided to create a Facebook group called Leading Ladies, Mentorship for Women of Color. Now, my intent is to have to build a community, a community that mentors women of color towards their professional dreams, to develop them, to build a network of like-minded individuals because we all want to be successful. So join the community. Search us on Facebook. It's Leading Ladies, Mentorship for Women of Color. And you will receive a free goal setting checklist. Now, what the goal setting checklist is, is a five goal setting tips for ambitious young leader. That's what's the topic. That is what the topic is about. Why am I all tongue twisted today? Anyway, check us out. Um, follow all our social media links. Follow me on IG. Follow me here. Subscribe. Because we have so much in store for 2018. So until next time, this has been Matt's Perspective, bringing you a fresh point of view.